Hello everyone and welcome into the, in the lecture number four of assembly language programming using the architecture of 8051 and the instruction set of that architecture. In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to create if else statements in assembly language programming. If else statement is a very basic component of programming any uh, software that you, uh, you want to write in. It, it is a basic element to create the programming logic. If else statement is basically the conditional statements and that's why in assembly language that is, uh, this statements are these statements are called the conditional jumps. Because we want to create the jumping and branching uh, uh, or vice versa whatever name you call uh, that uh, uh, jumping is and I have explained you in the previous lecture that uh, we will call the jumps because the eight instruction set of 8051 architecture called the jumping. Anyways back to the point this unconditional jumps are basically the uh, branch uh, branching or jumping to create the if else statements or the conditional jumps. So we will not call this if else statements anymore we will call this conditional jumps or you can uh, remember this like suppose you want to jump on a label but you only want to jump if a specific thing happens. We have already read this kind of jump with one instruction in our previous lecture which was DJ and Z. This is an other jump which is conditionally occur only if a specific register which is being decremented is zero. This instruction is another conditional jump form which is decrement a register and jump only if not zero right this will only jump if the decremented register is not zero so an other instruction which is used to create the if else kind of logic is c j and e this instruction called compare and jump if not so compare and jump if not equal right so C, J and E instruction is basically compare and jump if not equal. That is the name of this instruction. This instruction takes three byte memory in program, co program memory or in ROM and needs two cycles to be executed. This instruction works on mostly A register but you can also compare any RAM address or you can compare R0 to R7 right so you can uh, this instruction takes two parameters uh, th totally three parameters first two parameters are, are the comparison And the third parameter is the relative address to jump on. Okay, so let's say uh, we had put in the value. This is our main, and uh, we continuously jumping in a main. This is our infinite loop. Okay, this is our main code. So let's say we had put in a value in a register number twenty. Now we want to compare if a is twenty or not. Okay, so let's say C J N E compare and jump if not equal as you know the if statements are mostly kind of equal to instructions but in assembly of 8051 these uh, expressions are normally not equal type right this is the point that you need to remember same like four state uh, four loops that we uh, described in the previous lectures that four loops are not incremental on a it is uh, it is a decremented manner right so same like the if else statements mostly when you ever you uh, you are creating your programming logic you always need to think in not equal to form this will help you to make code which will take less memory in program code right and uh, 
this instruction affects a carry flag i haven't talked about the flags in uh, any previous lectures so i am going to introduce the flags in this lectures okay so first of all uh, let's assume let's complete our program first okay so let's say we want to compare a with the number of 23 as you know the first value of the a is 20 so a is not 23 so let's say a if a is not equal to 23 then jump to the a label not equal okay but if a is equal to 23 then jump to the main so this is a else part right it will say that if a is not equal to 23 then come to this so this is not equal label but it will do it will move a with number 23 okay and jump to the main back so what this program will do this program will compare a first of all it will uh, put a, a with the value of 20 then compare a with the 23 which will definitely will not be equal and it will jump to this label when it comes to here it will reload the a with the number 23 then move back to the main it will compare again with 23 this time this 23 will be equal to the a and the line next line this will this 14 line line number 14 will be executed and the program will jump back to the main label so this will be the flow and it will stick now with this loop okay so this will be the flow of our program let's try to compile this program first of all write asmw and if else dot asm and uh, the output file we want if else no error found let's try to load this in our simulator let's load over a hex file first and uh, the hex file we had created in our d and assembly folder and if else dot hex so this is the basic pro, uh, flow of our program let's try to execute first instruction step into it will load a with the value of 20 so now you can see acc is decimal 20 and hex 14 and the binary 10100 the next instruction is cjnea 17 hn 0007 this is the label relative address of uh, the not equal to label which is this 07 line number and uh, this is uh, the instruction line number 5 is the at uh, address of the 5 is the address uh, address of the s jump back to the main so let's try to execute this instruction first of all see the cycle 1 is executed program counter is at address 02 and the time is taken is 1.09 microsecond in the case of 11.952 megahertz let's execute this instruction this will jump directly to the 7 because a is not equal to 23 so uh, now the cycle is a 3 it means two cycle executed and address is 7 okay address is 7 means totally four addresses are skipped because we had put an an s jump instruction in between so now let's load the value a with the 17 h now this register acc will be changed and one more thing that you, you need to be focused here is that psw byte you can see that psw is seventh bit is changed and this became one okay let's try to reset the program and focus here restart psw is zero 
ACC is zero. Execute our first instruction. As you can see, piece SW register not changed its value. You need to be very focused on PSW register this time. When CJ any instruction will be executed. The value in the ACC register is 20. And the value we want to compare it with is 17 at mean 23 of the decimal. Now in this case, the PSW register will be affected. We execute our compare instruction and you see the value of the PSW is 128 mean 7th bit. This 7th bit is the carry bit which is the flag. Flag mean flag is uh, you can say is to denote uh, something happens. When you need to uh, uh, as you know that in old times when the wars are uh, in the time of wars which party uh, want to surrender it raise uh, white flag right it is the same thing in applied same concept applied in the assembly language whenever you want to indicate something you need to raise some bit so in this case we raised over carry bit it is indicating that the value in the a register or in the first at first value you are comparing two values okay in the cj any instruction one value is in a register and the second value is the uh, yeah, is number of 23 so you are comparing these two values when these two values are not equal it means there are some other condition occurs either the value a is greater with the value b or either the value a is less than value b so if the value in the a register is less than with the compared value which is 23 in our case then the carry flag will be raised to 1 this will indicate that the value in the a register is less than the value so in this case if we check our carry flag we can also determine if the value is not equal then what is which is the case if the value is greater or if the value is less okay so this will be the case to check if the value is greater or the value is less than the compared value now you execute this instruction and this will change the value of ACC register with the value of 23 and next instruction is to jump back to the main and you can see no change is affected here now again compare compa comparison instruction will be executed and this time this PSW will be 0 and the value is equal so the address of 5 will be executed and this will keep jumping looping into these two instructions. So this is the way to create an if else statement in assembly language program. Okay. Thank you so much.